Welcome to this presentation and demo on LMI 3D machine vision with universal robot integration. Over the next 15 minutes, we're going to show you how to create a simple pick and place application using an LMI 3D machine vision system and a UR robot. So let me explain my hardware setup first. I'm using a UR 5E robot with the latest software and a GoCater 2350 line profiler. Now everything I'm going to show you, we've done with a GoCater 2500 series or the largest member in the line profiler family, the GoCater 2490. I have everything mounted using a custom bracket. And you can see that here, LMI offers a couple of different brackets. Generally, customers machine their own. Here are examples of some other brackets that we've used with our smaller and larger field of view sensors. And of course, you need to accommodate a gripper if you're gonna be doing pick and place operations. As far as parts go, I'm gonna start off looking at uh, balls for doing my calibration, my hand-eye calibration, and these can really be anything. You can use a high-accuracy uh, ball bar, or in this case, I'm just using two spheres positioned on a flat plane. And then later, when we do the pick-and-place part, I'm going to try to pick up a 3D block with different surfaces on it. For software, I'm going to be using a VNC viewer to show my uh, UR teach pendant. So here's what that looks like. And I can interact through this interface just as if I was holding the teach pendant in my hand. For interacting with the GoCater, I'm gonna be using just a browser window to change tools and settings inside the GoCater. Actually, a lot of this I'm gonna be doing through the UR robot. If we look back at the UR robot, I have a UR cap loaded in my UR robot. Here's that UR cap. I have one for my gripper and one for the gocator. What this gives me access to are a few different functions, including hand-eye calibration routine, and then in my program, various functions like receive, scan, trigger, calibrate. We'll use a few of these in the program. But first, let me go through the hand-eye calibration. The purpose of the hand-eye calibration is to uh, generate a transformation matrix between my 3D vision system coordinates and the UR robot coordinates. And I should point out that the UR cap is a plugin for the UR robot that allows communication with the GoCater. So it not only uh, gives me these functions that allows uh, the UR robot to talk to the GoCater, um, send commands, and receive results. So in setting up the hand-eye calibration, we walk through this wizard, select the IP address of our 3D system, hit connect, and then we're going to download a special job into the GoCater for doing this hand-eye calibration. Everything goes well, it tells me setup job completed successfully, and now on my GoCater there should be a new job. Uh, under jobs, before I had new and then a pick and place job, if I refresh this window, I should see a new job called Go Robot Calib. There it is. I can load that and check the settings. And I'm ready to go. There's really just one tool in this job file, and that's a surface ball bar tool, which is gonna look for two spheres and a plane, and that's gonna be used by the calibration routine from the UR robot. All right, so now we can go back to the robot and set up our calibration routine. We're gonna have an empty program with the locator calibrate tool, specify the IP address, job file,
and we can increase our surface length at some of these scan settings. And that's it. Now we can run this and you'll see on the robot, it's motion, the UR robot is gonna move our locator through eight different scans, eight different angles and positions. And we'll see the image update back in our browser window. And with every scan, the surface ball bar tool gets run and the results get sent over to the robot. And if everything goes well, we'll generate a transformation matrix that'll be used to convert from uh, one device's space coordinate system into another device's. And it looks like everything went well on our robot. We would see errors if it didn't. So now the hand-eye calibration is done. We can go ahead and build a program to do the pick and place operation. So let me go ahead and put the correct part in front of my sensor and then load the right job on my GoCater. Before we had the Go Robot Calib job, now I'm going to load a job called UR Block. And this job is going to have a few tools that look for a block and uh, find the center of it, as well as the roll pitch yaw to communicate to our robot. On the robot side, we've disabled the calibrate tool, but we're going to need to add a few other tools, including locator connect. And here's where we load that calibration matrix that was the result of our hand-eye calibration. In our robot program, we'll start with a move to home. We can define this current location as our home. And then we'll execute a scan. And we can go ahead and run this just so we get data into our GoCater. Program isn't completed, but uh, we can execute it with what we have now. You'll see the robot moved the GoCater through one scan. That was it. And on our GoCater, we now have new data. Instead of ball bar, we see a block, and the tools find that block and measure the XYZ roll pitch yaw of it. So we can communicate this information to the robot and guide the gripper to pick up our object. So we have a little bit more work on the robot side. After a scan, we need to receive the information. So we're gonna set up a GoCater receive tool. The variable is gonna be our block. Now the measurement ID is whatever ID we use on the GoCater. So we can check that in our output. We're gonna send the XYZ roll pitch yaw starting at ID seven. Seven, and instead of a single measurement, we're actually communicating a bit more, the XYZ RPY. After we receive that information, we want to move to it. So we're going to set up another move. And our waypoint isn't going to be a fixed position. It's going to be a variable position. It's going to be that block. And let's add a weight at the end. One second. And we should be able to run this. Uh, the program is going to be incomplete because I'm not activating my gripper and I'm just moving the gripper to the top of the block. I set my TCP, my tool center point, to be the top uh, or the end of the gripper. In fact, if I go to my uh, 
uh, move area. I can move it, and you can see the gripper is moving around this point at the end of my TCP. All right, let's see if this works. Go to our program. We can have it loop forever. Let's go ahead and run it. All right, so far so good. We've got the Gokator scanning our block. The program finds the block, sends that information to the UR robot, and guides the gripper to the correct location. Let's go ahead and finish up this program by adding some gripper moves as well. So before we execute our move, I'm actually going to move that uh, point one centimeter down so that instead of moving to the top of the block, we move down a little bit. That way we can pick the block up. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and run this now. So the program works, we can pick this block up in any position or orientation, guide the robot down at the right angle. I should point out that our, document our documentation on this is excellent. Here's how you access our documentation. There's full section on UR integration 
which talks about the UR cat, the hand-eye calibration, and how to set up a program similar to what we set up here doing pick and place. So thank you for attending this presentation and demo of LMI 3D Vision with UR Robots.